guys, it's Mr. Lynch coming back at you with another great math video. Today, we're going to create equations for word problems and solve those equations. But, as always, before we start, guys, make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you are ringing that notification bell so you guys can see these videos as soon as they come out. So, today is Rose's 12th birthday, and she has a savings account with $515 in it, but her goal is to save $10,000 by the time she turns 18. How much money should she add to her savings account each month to reach her goal of 10,000 between now and her 18th birthday? Okay. So what we're going to have to do first is we're going to figure out the years she has left. So 18 minus 12, that gets us 6 years. Then we multiply that by 12 to find the months, which is 72 months. That she needs to be saving. So, what we can do here is we have an initial amount of 515. So she's starting with $515 and she's adding X amount every month for those 72 months and we're trying to get $10,000. All right, step one add or subtract. Well, since they're adding 515, we need to subtract 515. Subtract 515 from both sides, you get 72x equals 9,485. This is not going to be a whole number, man. Now, they're multiplying, so we divide. And we get x equals, um, let me pull out my handy dandy little calculator here. Uh, 9485 divided by 72 is 131.74 dollars per month that she needs to be saving. And that will get her just over 10,000 by the time she reaches 18. This junior high school made 1,250 hot dogs to sell at the county fair as a fundraiser. They're only going to sell them for two days. Two days. Oops. That was bad. Oh, wait, I don't even have to change it. I can just... They're only selling for two days. On the first day, they sold 436. If they plan on selling for eight hours, how many hot dogs per hour will they need to sell the rest of their hot dogs? So we have 1,250 total. And then on the first day, they sold 436. So... They're going to sell for eight hours. And we're trying to find out how many per hour. I'm going to put H for hot dog. So, they start out with 436 sold. And they need to sell for a certain number for all eight hours. So, let's subtract 436 from both sides. That gives us 700 and... Nope, that gives us 800. Sorry. 814 equals 8h. Now, because they're multiplying, we need to divide. Divide both sides by 8. And we're going to get that h. And again, I need to pull up my handy-dandy little calculator here. 814 divided by 8 is 101.75. So you need to sell a little more than 101 hot dogs an hour in order to meet their goal and sell every single one of their hot dogs. Calissa's grandpa won't let won't tell her how old he is. Instead, he told her I'm twice your mom's age. Calissa knows her mom had her when she was twenty four and Calissa's now twelve. So hmm. So we're gonna say X equals Calissa's mom is twenty four. And Calissa is now 12. Oh, sorry. Calissa knew her mom had her when she was 24, and she's now 12. So we're going to take 24 and add 12 to get her mom's current age. And then we're going to multiply that all by 2 to get twice your mom's age now. So let's add these all together. X equals 36 times 2, which means X equals 72. Alright, 
X has to be 72 here. So his grandpa, or her grandpa, sorry, is 72 years old. Cliss's grandpa was really impressed that she was able to figure out his age. So he decided to give her another riddle. She, he said the sum of your great-grandparents' age is 183. And if your great-grandpa is five years older than your grandma, how old is each of them? So, what we got to do here is we got to think about this. So, they add up to be 183. So, let's say, let's go with grandpa and we'll go X. All right, we'll call it grandpa X. Grandpa is five years older than the great-grandma. So, we got grandpa's age. We're going to add that to grandma's age, which is... X minus 5. Now, if we add these all together, we get 183 equals 2X minus 5. If they're subtracting 5, we need to add 5. So we get 188 equals 2X. And now, since they're multiplying by 2, we have to divide both sides by 2, which gives us an answer of 94 for the grandpa. And if we take X and subtract 5, we get that grandma is... Why did I put that little dash there? 89. So Peter has 87 sheep and goat. He had 50 more sheep than goat. Sheep than goats. Wow, can't talk tonight. How many sheep... And goats does he have? So just like the last problem, guys, we're going to say 87 is the total. I'm going to call sheep S, and I'm going to call this goats. So I'm going to set an equation here, because I know that if we t the total number of sheep is the number of goats plus 15, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this equal to the number of goats plus the number of goats plus 15, which will get us that number of sheep. Which means 87 equals 2G plus 15. And so all I have to do is subtract 15 from both sides since they're adding, which gives me 72 equals 2G. Now since they're multiplying, we divide. And we get 36 goats. If he has 36 goats, then we know that there are 51 sheep. Add those together, we get 87. So Peter's neighbor raises chickens, hens, and roosters, and their family sells eggs. So they like to have four times as many hens as rooster. If they currently have 45 birds, how many are hens? Ooh, this is a tough one. Okay. So I'm going to go hens are H, roosters are R. So, if I go and say that the number of hens, well, that's four times the number of roosters, because there are four times as many hens as roosters. Which means if I take the number of roosters and multiply by four, I get the number of hens. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this, and I'm going to say 45, so the total number of chickens they have, is equal to the number of roosters plus the number of hens. But we know the number of hens is four times the number of roosters. Which means when we combine like terms, r plus 4r is 5r. Now because they're multiplying, we have to divide. 45 divided by 5 is 9. So they have 9 roosters, which means they have 36 hens. Alright guys, I'll leave the last one for you. Try it out. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the, va the math. This is it for this lesson. Make sure you guys hit like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you are ringing that notification bell so you guys can see these videos as soon as they come out. As always, guys, we'll see you soon.